The exposure triangle in photography refers to the three fundamental elements that control the exposure of an image, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Here's a brief overview of each component, aperture, definition, the aperture is the opening in the lens through which light passes. Measurement, it is measured in f-stops, e.g., f-2.8, f-8, f-16. Effect on exposure, a smaller f number, e.g., f-2.8, indicates a larger aperture, allowing more light to enter the camera. Conversely, a larger f number, e.g., f-16, indicates a smaller aperture, allowing less light to enter. Shutter speed, definition, shutter speed refers to the amount of time the camera sensor is exposed to light. Measurement, it is measured in seconds or fractions of a second, e.g., 1 slash 1000s, 1 slash 60s, 1s. Effect on exposure, a faster shutter speed, e.g., 1 slash 1000s, allows less light to reach the sensor but freezes motion. In contrast, a slower shutter speed, e.g., 1 slash 60s, allows more light to reach the sensor but can result in motion blur. ISO, definition, ISO measures the sensitivity of the camera sensor to light. Measurement, ISO values typically range from 100 to 6400 or higher. Effect on exposure, a higher ISO, e.g., ISO 800, makes the sensor more sensitive to light, allowing you to shoot in low-light conditions. However, it can introduce noise or grain to the image. A lower ISO, e.g., ISO 100, makes the sensor less sensitive to light, resulting in a cleaner image but requiring more light for proper exposure. Balancing the exposure triangle, to achieve a well-exposed photograph, you need to balance these three elements. For example, if you increase the aperture, larger F number, to let in less light, you might need to decrease the shutter speed, faster, or increase the ISO, higher sensitivity, to compensate and maintain proper exposure. Understanding and mastering the exposure triangle is crucial for photographers to control the exposure and creative look of their images effectively.